this is Jesse Rhines, and welcome once again to Loft Interviews. Today, I am with the American Cancer Society at their annual event here in, where exactly are we? We are on the South Lawn of City Hall, and this is the inaugural Downtown Los Angeles Relay for Life. Relay for Life started uh, actually in Washington State. It was a doctor named Dr. Clapp who determined that cancer never sleeps. And he thought up the 24-hour relay event in response to this notion that cancer never sleeps. Therefore, we give up 24 hours of our lives to fight cancer. We raise money, then we walk the track, we come together as a community, we build teams, and we walk the track as teams in a relay fashion, one team member relaying off to another team member for 24 hours, from 9 in the morning on a Saturday to 9 in the morning on a Sunday. Wow. We're so together all night walking People are walking track. all night long? All night long, people are walking. Okay. Walking to fight cancer, well, absolutely. Well, on that amazing note, I have to ask you, who are you and what is your involvement in this? Well, um, my name is Sean Arnold. I am a practicing attorney. Uh, I am a transaction attorney. Uh, in other words, I don't do any litigation. I don't like to fuss and fight. Oh, okay. I, just, I do business transactions and entertainment, anything that has to do with uh, a business deal. Mm -hmm. I'm all over it. And I have also been a member of the Leadership Council of American Cancer Society for about two years. Oh, really? And the point of um, the Leadership Council is to pick something that American Cancer Society does and then do it. Huh. And I love relay. I'm, I'm an addict. I'm a relay addict. I literally, when it's relay season, I, this year so far I've been to Burbank, North Hollywood, Montebello, South Pasadena, Baldwin Hills, they must be paying Santa you Monica. A tremendous amount of money. No, no, it's all you volunteer. Get no, 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 it's all volunteer. What, you're volunteering oh, yes. all that time? Oh yes, it's all volunteer. We've wow. been working on this relay since February of that this is year. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. So from February and it is now August. And you've been working on it that long. Yeah, you really have. And this is the first one in downtown, For downtown LA. LA. That's correct. Downtown Very LA, y'all. Downtown Councilwoman LA. Jan Perry Jan secured Perry. the site for us. And she also came to our opening ceremony this morning at 9 o'clock and read the proclamation. Very nice. Yeah, they, they, the city drafted a beautiful proclamation for us, declaring this Relay for Life weekend in Los Angeles. All right. And uh, that kicked off the relay this morning. That sounds great. Oh, it's very exciting. Well, this is, is really exciting for me. Um, I got a flyer yesterday in the mail, and I didn't look at it until this morning. It was from the American Cancer Society, because I've just been operated on for prostate cancer. Um, and um, so I decided to come up and see what it was, since it's right around the corner right here in downtown LA and um, I've been amazed. It took me a while to figure what it was what was going on because I was sitting down and I saw these people they just walked by me and they kept on walking around me. I was wondering what's wrong with these people? Are they crazy? <laughs> do they have nothing else to do on the Saturday morning? But they were doing a relay. You're doing and important the thing work is, here. What they're doing is um, um, going out and doing fundraising. Ask asking people to give them a certain donation for them to walk a certain number of miles? Well, Is that actually it? each team member has a goal, and it's not a minimum, it's not a maximum, it's just a goal of raising a hundred dollars. Each person here today had the goal of raising a hundred dollars for American Cancer Society. Some people didn't make that particular goal, they made something less, and some people made much, much more. Oh, really? The survivors have a tendency to really rake it in really? for the American Cancer yeah. Society, yeah, because right. people want to support mm -hmm. a really good cause, and when you, when you love someone who's been struck by cancer, that that's just really, really powerful. Really, really powerful. And my understanding is is that um, businesses in the downtown area made significant contributions. Oh yes, absolutely. We've got a California Pizza Kissing coming in to bring us dinner and, and a Daily Grill as well. Mm -hmm. Starbucks has been here all day and has kept wow. us all coffeeed up and on the track. and. Lots and lots of others, lots and lots of others. We've had uh, Paul Mitchell came in and cut hair 
Really? We, oh, yes. We had the wow. uh, Godiva's wig. This Come is Lisa on. Cleary. Hey. No, I don't want to She's, look. <laughs> She's our relay manager. <laughs> I think that, is that she post works for Paul American Mitchell? Cancer is that post Society. or pre Paul Mitchell? <laughs> so, um, Paul Mitchell was here. We have Starbucks here. Yeah, and we had a we had a psychic here. Yeah, we had, I saw that psychic. Yeah, yeah I people loved talking her. To you, right? We, yes. Okay, come on, tell me. I chose the seduction card. Oh my goodness! I wonder how after that she had happened. just finished telling me for like ten minutes how I need to seduce myself <laughs> <laughs> and have a spa day. day. Yeah. This yeah. is Morgan. That's Morgan. Well, he's Morgan Pinzer. He's our, <laughs> he's our photographer. Look at us. We're so famous. He's doing an awesome job. He has taken hundreds of pictures. And right behind us, you can actually see the stage. Oh, you we're can, going right. to We're going to hang a canvas over the front of the stage when it gets dark. And we're going to show all the pictures from the day and all the wow. pictures of the survivors as they got their makeovers and their hair done. And, and then we're going to run movies all night. What movies? We've got Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. Bad Boys. Bad Boys. We've got Rent. Rent. And... There are two other movies as well, all very visual, so that you can either, you can make the choice of sitting in the chairs and actually watching the movies all night, or if you're walking the track all night, you can see the movie from wherever you are. And people are actually camping out here on the South Lawn of City Hall, believe it or not. I'm, I'm amazed at that. You know, I've never been a camper, but, you know, I don't know. Maybe this will change it for me. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. I'm not sure. I love Relay for Life. So now um, Relay has gained, I understand, about fourteen. Is it $14,000? This for Relay, so far? this inaugural Relay, raised $14,000 so far. For this 24-hour event, they've yeah. already raised fourteen. dollars thousand dollars. That's correct. Now, I Very think about my stuff. um my operation. My operation cost about a hundred thousand dollars just by itself. Wow. And I'm still getting um um follow ups. Mm -hmm. So that kind of money has to come from somewhere. And the research, the medicines and things that you need has to come from somewhere. And the legislation that keeps people from going broke just because they got sick and, Absolutely. and uh you know American Cancer Society's current legislative push is cures, not cuts. Because oh, the, we're right. in a budget crisis right now. We don't have a budget at the state. The governor is talking about firing low-level employees. Right. Yeah. And the flip side of that is people are not getting served. Okay, okay. So we want cures, not cuts. You realize that you have opened yourself up now. Uh, right. Don't write me. Write the American Cancer Society. For rock. <laughs> Or McLean, which one? Barack. He's Barack. smarter. He's way smarter than McLean. And you think that he's the better person for the American Cancer Society? I think he's the better person to run the, the country. Uh, I do. I think he's personal, a better person. Right? Well, you asked me what I think. I, I can't okay. tell you what I think. Okay. I, I think he's smarter. I think uh, he's calmer. And I think he's a little more genuine. Okay. And he's not the status quo. We're tired of the status quo. You've had eight years of that. Yeah. I'm over it. So if people want to contact you or the Cancer Society and get involved for next year, how should they do that? My law firm is Don Gell, D-O-N-G-E-L-L, -L, Lawrence Finney. Uh, we're downtown here. Uh, you can look us up on the internet and uh, Just Google give us a call. Yeah, give us a call. And okay. uh, if you want to join the Relay for Life, we'd be more than happy to have you. And tell us what your name again is Sean again. Arnold. And how do you spell that? S-H-A-U-N-E. A R N O L D, comma E S Q period. E S Q period, y'all. <laughs> All right. I thank you, Sean. Well, thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you coming out, and we want to see you guys next year. Absolutely. Come on out, relay, woo! <laughs> okay, this is Dr. Jesse Rhines for Loft Interviews. I appreciate seeing you again, and we'll see you next time. We out.